How's it going everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganesh here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great one here today. So, weather's getting warmer, sun is shining, birds are chirping, it's time to get outside once all this craziness ends, of course. Uh, but nonetheless, certainly we're all going to take the time that we have indoors to go over our camping and our backpacking system. So I thought with the weather getting warmer and once this craziness ends, it's a perfect time to go over my ultralight sleeping system. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright everybody, so before we go ahead and get started, be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos and everything. I got some great stuff coming out, I got some backpacking trips, some gear reviews, some off-roading. I got my Toyota Tacoma and all the good stuff that I'm doing with it as well. So if you want to keep up to date with everything, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's talk about my ultralight sleep system here. So when it comes to backpacking and it comes to sleep systems, we're always trying to find kind of find that middle ground between comfort and also lightweight. So here's my sleep system and something that I've found to be very comfortable, still saving on the weight there for me and creating a really nice and efficient system. So now before I go ahead and get started, this is going to be my three season system. Certainly I do go winter backpacking, but that is an entirely different animal, an entirely different system altogether. This is going to be my three season ultralight system. Okay, everybody. So if you're anything like me, you know, comfort is something that's very important to you. And getting a good night's sleep is something that is absolutely essential while you're on any kind of camping or backpacking trip. You know, no one wants to wake up with a sore back, sore neck, you know, low energy and just being kind of a, a cranky bunch in the morning, you know, especially when you're hiking with a whole bunch of people there. Nobody likes that. So making sure that you get a good night's sleep is something that's very important. So to start off with, this is my sleeping pad, the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT. Now I have done an independent review on this pad. You can take a look right up top here if you want to take a look at this review independently. However, going into this pad right here, what I love about it in particular um, is the fact that it is definitely a very, very nice, comfortable pad. Now, certainly there are some lighter weight options out there. This thing is coming in at 17.3 ounces, um, and that's included with the pump sack here, the stuff sack. Uh, however, for the comfort, the warmth uh, that it does give to me, and especially with Sea to Summit always being notorious with its high level of durability, uh, I've been very, very happy with this pad thus far. You know, you do have a couple more bells and whistles with this thing. Um, and certainly I could have opted for, you know, the torso length or the three quarter length style pad. But comfort is something that is important to me, especially when getting a good night's sleep. I do like to push the miles. I do like to do, you know, double digit miles every single day if I possibly can. And especially in warmer months, if I can push 20, 25 miles in a given day, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So making sure that I get a good night's sleep to allow my body to get that, that rest and recovery is something that's essential to me. So sacrificing weight to get some extra comfort, I'm more than willing to do so. And then moving on from the sleeping pad, obviously now that I'm up off the ground, uh, underneath me is staying warm and staying comfortable, most importantly there of course. You know, it's time to talk about my sleeping bag and what I'm going to put over me to also keep me warm and comfortable out throughout the night. Uh, so this right here, this is my sleeping bag of choice for my three season setup. This is the Sea to Summit SP, SP Spark 2. It's a tongue twister, I know. This thing, it's a 35 degree version. Uh, they do come in a 45 degree version as well but I wanted to extend the season a little bit better, um, and as well for all the crazy places that I do go, I wanted a little bit more of a temperature range to cover me uh, in the event all of a sudden I get a crazy cold snap while I'm out in the back country. 35 degree value, this is a down ultralight bag, really, really nice and lightweight. I do have another independent of this, uh, of this sleeping bag as well. If you would like to take a look at it, just go ahead and click right up, right up top here, right up, right up top there. And you'll be able to go ahead and take a look at it. Only 16 and a half ounces for a 35 degree sleeping bag with the stuff sack here. It jumps up to 17 and a half ounces, but the fact that it's hovering right around just one pound for a 35 degree sleeping bag, that is really, really impressive. Um, it's kept me, uh, kept me warm in some pretty chilly nights. 
Uh, I actually finished my Appalachian Trail through hike with this particular sleeping bag. Uh, picked this up about halfway down in Virginia and finished the entire the rest of the trail with it. Uh, and it's still going along really, really nicely here. I'm looking forward to breaking this thing back out now that the weather's getting nice and warm. Now, one thing to say about this sleeping bag, uh, it only has a one-third length long zipper. Um, certainly for my Pacific Crest Trail through hike coming up in 2022, uh, I possibly will be looking to go ahead and get a quilt just to give myself something a little bit more versatile, um, that's more versatile for the variety of temperatures that I'm going to be experiencing out there. This is a still a mummy sleeping bag, so if I do have a warm night or something like that, you know, I do have to just kind of drape it over me. I don't really have a choice of opening the whole thing up like a full length zipper. Uh, or just like a standard quilt will do for you. Um, however, this thing has performed for me beautifully. I have nothing bad to say about it besides that one third length long zipper. Uh, you'll go ahead and see that in the video review of it. Um, but see to Summit, they just make some excellent, excellent gear. Stuff that is tried and true, meant to last. Um, Obviously, there's a, there's a theme going along here with Cedar Summit. So this last piece of gear here, this is more of a comfort item, really just kind of completing my whole sleep system, ensuring that I have a really nice, comfortable night's sleep while I'm out on the trail there. I did include this piece of uh, gear in my previous video, uh, my top five uh, gear items that I can't live without. You can take a look at this video right up there as well. Um, this is my camp pillow. This is the Nemo Philo Elite. Uh, this is their ultralight backpacking pillow. I absolutely love it. It's only about two and a half ounces, 2.8 ounces if I remember correctly, but it packs down into its own stuff sack really nice and small. I never use that thing though. I mean, I'm not going to take the time to put into a stuff sack. You're crazy. It inflates to give you something, something nice and substantial there. So especially it just keeps your head a little bit more aligned rather than collapsing and sleeping like this all night. It just keeps it propped up and keep it aligned so I don't get a stiff neck in the morning packs down nice and small. Um, it does have some light foam insulation built in there for you, which is kind of nice. Uh, what I really, really like about it is that the cover is removable and machine washable. Uh, so this went from Georgia to Maine on my Appalachian Trail through hike. It is a piece of gear that I cannot go without on any backpacking or camping trip whatsoever. Went from Georgia to Maine and it is still going. It's been through numerous wash cycles, thankfully, um, <laughs> and rightfully so. Uh, but it is just a great piece of gear, something nice and lightweight, um, and really just can't say enough about it. This really kind of brings my whole sleeve system together to give me something really fine-tuned, really comfortable, and something that I have been profoundly happy with. So, okay, everybody, that is my ultralight sleep system. Combined, the total weight of everything that you saw there is roughly around 36, 37 pounds. Again, I certainly could have gone lighter weight with my sleeping pad um, and try to save a few extra ounces there, but I I'm really trying to find that balance between lightweight and comfort. Like I said, getting a good night's sleep is so essential uh, towards your mental health, towards your physical health while you're out there on the trail. You know, for me, sacrificing on my sleep system is just not going to happen. I can try to find that weight saving somewhere else in my backpack, but I will not take away from that beautiful sleep system that I have. <laughs> so if you would like to look further into this, again, I have independent reviews on all these items, well, except for the pillow, uh, but otherwise, go ahead and uh, take a look at the links that I provided down below for you as well if you want to read up on some of the specs of all the items. These, have, these items have performed really well for me. I've been super, super happy with them thus far. Um, and certainly, you know, as new pieces of gear come out year over year, I'm always looking to upgrade things and looking to, you know, streamline, create something lighter weight while still keeping something nice and comfortable for me um, and just really kind of create a really nice, efficient sleeping system overall. So that being said, thank you all so much again for following along on another fantastic video here today. I hope this all helped with some of your own research for your own own uh, own needs trying to upgrade and trying to improve your own backpacking system. Uh, definitely feel free to subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I always do appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video. I've got some more camp stories coming up this weekend here for you. Catch you on the next video. Baba Ganoush, out.